Let's explore affirming the consequent in the Big Bang Theory. What does this fallacy entail? Definition. An error in formal logic, where if the consequent is said to be true, the antecedent is said to be true as a result. This logical mistake happens when someone concludes a specific cause from an effect that could have multiple causes. Let's take a look at this scene from Season 12, Episode 3. So Penny, we were talking to our neighbors and they're thinking of moving and selling their house. Really? Why? Something about babies crying and keeping them up all night's not important. You guys should totally take a look at it. <laughs> then we can be neighbors. Hey, wait a minute. What about us? I mean, we're married now. Maybe we want to buy the house next door. Well, Amy, we can't move. I'd have to change all the tags in my underwear. <laughs> you can buy new ones. What, new house, new underwear. What am I, in the witness protection program? <laughs> okay, guys, so what do you think? I don't know. We're pretty happy here. Yeah, plus if we moved, we'd probably just get a loft downtown. Really? I always figured we'd get a place with a yard. Oh, sure, yeah, that makes sense. You could shoot hoops and mow the lawn. <laughs> How are you two married? You were there, I wore it out. He did. <laughs> you guys should have talked about all this stuff while you were dating. Me and Anu already know so much about each other. Wait, I forget, is Anu your waxer? Uh, no, that's Annette. Anu is the woman my father fixed me up with. We're going on our first date tomorrow. Which reminds me, I need to see Annette. You're really letting your father pick out a wife? Why not? Arranged marriages have been working for thousands of years. Anu and I come from similar backgrounds. Our families get along. And we each fill out questionnaires so we know we're not wasting our time with someone who's not compatible. Wow, that sounds so dry and clinical. You lucky duck. <laughs> I just don't think you can truly know someone until you've spent a lot of time with them. Really? What's Benny's dream vacation? Uh, Malibu Beach House. <laughs> That's Barbie's dream vacation. <laughs> Maybe you should send us that questionnaire. In this scene, Raj argues that not knowing Penny proves you can know someone without spending a lot of time with them, misinterpreting Leonard's point about the relationship between time spent and personal knowledge. To counter this fallacy, clarify the distinction between necessary and sufficient conditions illustrating that while spending time with someone might be necessary to know them well, it is not alone sufficient to guarantee deep understanding. Did you spot any other logical fallacies in the clip? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.